What's up guys, I'll stay here with another smashing deal update. First I want to update you on a free game offered by GOG and then look at some noteworthy titles available on Steam during their autumn sale. On GOG we have Narita Boy free. Narita Boy was released on the 30th of March 2021 and currently has an all time Steam user review of 500 with a very positive user reception. Narita Boy is a 2D retro action adventure platformer as a player explores the digital kingdom using their abilities to travel across the level. Each level the player needs to locate the techno keys which allows them to access new areas. Combat revolves around using the game's techno sword in order to defeat enemies called stallions. There are also various story segments throughout the game where you'll get to relive the creator's memories and learn about the reasons for creating the digital kingdom. The estimated time to complete all 34 Narita Boy achievements is between 6 to 8 hours. Remember to add this game to your GOG game library. Steam is having a sale on this game as well, but free is better than any game special. Steam is currently having its November Autumn sale and the sale will be running from the 22nd to the 29th. The first title we have is Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 was released on the 10th of December 2020. Many gamers would agree that Cyberpunk 2077 had a very rocky start and currently has an all-time Steam user review of 490,000 with a mostly positive reception, while most recently the game has a very positive user reception. The improved reception is mainly due to the quality improvements made by the devs since the launch date and with the most recent update, patch 1.61. The game also gained an added boost in returning and new gamers through the release of the Netflix hit show Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which received a 100% Rotten Tomato score by critics and 96% Rotten Tomato score by the audience. Cyberpunk 2077 is an open world action adventure RPG set in Night City, where you play as a cyberpunk mercenary wrapped up in a do or die fight for survival. Players assume the first person perspective of a customizable mercenary known as V who can acquire skills in hacking and machinery. The story follows V's struggle as he deals with a mysterious cybernetic implant that threatens to overwrite his body with the personality and memories of a deceased celebrity. The game has been on sale several times before at the same price point. If you haven't played the game as yet, with the recent update, it's certainly a good time to start now. Steam has it at 50% less than the retail price. When focusing on the main objective, Cyberpunk 2077 is about 23 and a half hours in length. If you're a gamer that strives to see all aspects of the game, you are likely to spend around 103 hours to obtain 100% completion. The second game title we have is Stray. Stray was released on the 19th of July 2022 and currently has an all-time Steam user review of 83,000 with an overwhelmingly positive user reception. Stray is a third-person cat adventure game set amidst the detailed neolit alleys, the decaying cyber city, and the murky environments of its CD underbelly. In the game, you get to roam surroundings high and low, defend against unforeseen threats, and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures. See the world through the eyes of a cat and interact with the environment in playful ways. The game world is populated by robots who often employ the cat to locate objects that reveal more information and progress the narrative. When focusing on the main objective, Stray is about 5 hours in length. If you are a gamer that strives to see all aspects of the game, you are likely to spend around 9.5 hours to obtain 100% completion. Steam currently has a game at a 25% discounted price. The next game on the list is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was released on the 15th of November 2019 and currently has an all-time Steam user review of 86,000 with a very positive user reception. Fallen Order is an action-adventure video game played from a third-person perspective. The player can use their lightsaber to strike at enemies as well as blocking incoming attacks, whether melee or ranged. Throughout the game, you will be accompanied by a droid named BD-1. The game features five major explorable planets that players can return to regularly. The base game is currently at its all-time lowest on Steam at 85% less the retail price. 
If you haven't played any Star Wars games, this might be a good title to start with. The main campaign will take most people around 17 hours to beat. To get 100% completion, it will take you roughly 30 hours. If you like Dungeon RTS games, we have Dungeon 3 on the list. Dungeon 3 was released on the 13th of October 2017 and currently has an all-time Steam user review of 11,400 with a very positive user reception. Dungeon 3 combines dungeon building with real-time strategy elements. Players are tasked with creating an underground dungeon for creatures to live in as well as defending their dungeon against invading heroes from the world above. In Dungeon 3, you are also able to send your creatures to the world above where they can take direct control of the units. The game has a single player campaign and a multiplayer online component. The primary task is to build a dungeon, an underground lair, which serves as a home to the player's units and their base of operations. In dungeon building mode, the player controls the world with a hand, performing actions such as moving creatures around the map, casting spells and interacting with specific in-game items. Commands are carried out by implied creatures called snots, which are constantly regenerated by the dungeon heart, which is the center of the dungeon and represents the player's health. If you played or remember the OG Dungeon Keeper and Dungeon Keeper 2 games developed by Bullfrog, Dungeon 3 is a similar game but a bit more colorful and less serious. The estimated time to complete all 60 Dungeon 3 achievements will set you back between 35 to 40 hours. The base game is currently 75% of the retail price, while the complete collection is 73% less the retail price. All titles are discounted. It is the all-time lowest price the game has had. If you are looking for a game that's more closer to Dungeon Keeper, perhaps even a Dungeon Keeper 3 of sort, while the next title is what you want. We have War for the Overworld. War for the Overworld was released on the 2nd of April 2015 and currently has an all-time Steam user review of 5500 with a very positive user reception. The game initially started development in 2009 as a fan-made sequel to Dungeon Keeper and Dungeon Keeper 2. The game went through several incarnations to its final form today. In the game, players assume the role of an underlord tasked with building dungeons that contain deadly traps and enemies to kill wandering heroes. The game starts with a blank slate and lets players choose where to create their dungeon. War for the Overworld is played in real time where you actively make decisions while fighting occurs. Armies of minions can be trained and commanded to vanquish foes and spells are available which can in injure enemies or assist minions. In War for the Overworld, the game will take you roughly 26 and a half hours to finish. If you are a gamer and strive to experience 100% completion, you are looking at roughly 50 hours. The game is currently on sale on Steam at an 80% discount. These are some of the noteworthy titles on special during the autumn sale on Steam. There are plenty more games available. Let me know if you got any games mentioned here or something else. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and follow. Thanks for watching.